it's a long question, but I'm going to answer, I'm going to ask the first part of it. Do you think that Christians focus, Christians focus on counteracting the LGBTQ and transgender rev- rev- revolution will keep people away from Jesus in the coming years? Let me read that again. That's just the first part, but I'll leave it at that. Do you think that Christians focus on interacting, counteracting the LGBTQ and transgender revolution will keep people away from Jesus in the coming years? Yes and no. I, I would say maybe, yeah. Like uh, our, our, as Christians are standing upon the truth of God's word, no matter what, it might keep people from Jesus in the future. But let me just tell you, as Christians, it is not our job to twist suppress or soften any of God's truth in order to make it more digestible for others. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So, so I'd say, yes, it might, but it's not our job to, you know, tweak things and change things in order to make it more appealing. Um, and honestly, I'd also say the other part of it is no, because I do think right now there is a pretty major, I've noticed already, I think it will happen more in the next decade, a whole lot of transgender people who are becoming disenchanted with what they thought was going to bring them joy and contentment. And they're coming back. It's called detransitioning. You see them all over TikTok, by the way. Uh, a lot of them are Christians. Some of them aren't. They're just like, this is not what I thought it was. I can't believe my, I was allowed to do this at 17, things like that. So I think we need to be ready in the church for people who have experienced that that are trying to f- follow Jesus after the fact. We need to be ready for that and not, not shunning them in any way. Praise God, right? We've all been saved from death right, and brought to life. We all struggle with different kinds of sins, and we've been brought to life. We've been freed in Christ, so I hope we have that heart. And the other side of it, I would say, is I think there's also a growing number of people who, who see, I didn't mean to answer this this long, but who, who see, and I'm talking about non-Christians, people who don't know Jesus, who see some of the insanity of our culture. And one of the only groups in our country speaking out somewhat sanely, somewhat, is the church. Uh, it's not very consistent, but churches who stand upon Scripture uh, speaking out truth. And so I have a feeling, I think I've already seen this some, where people are maybe going to be even more interested in Christ because, wow, there's, there are people who aren't going crazy. I hate to say that. I don't mean to be insensitive. I just think that's, that I've heard that from people.